First and four, the second line shooting suspect still on the run. A look at his background and why police believe he is affiliated with the gang. Also, twin tragedies for one of the 19 victims when a 10-year-old was shot before. And preventing breast cancer through a drastic medical procedure, the reality Angelina Jolie faced that led to her getting a double mastectomy. This is WDSU News at 4. We're on call now to learn more about the procedure. Joining us live in studio, Dr. Ellie Zachris from Toro. Thanks for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you. So give us a little more information about this BRCA1 gene. What is it? It stands for breast cancer gene, and it's a gene that increases your risk for getting breast or ovarian cancer. So what are the risks when this gene mutates? Obviously not good. Right. Well, there's actually two genes, BRCA1 and 2, and if you have either of them, you have an increased risk of getting breast cancer, up to 50 to 70 percent risk, and also an increased risk of getting ovarian cancer. Is there a gene that's worse, 1 or 2, or it doesn't make a difference, whichever one or both that you have? BRCA1 be increases your risk slightly more than BRCA2. So what is this test that we've read about Angelina Jolie doing and the process that she went through after the test, seeing the potential of cancer that she had to go forward with the double mastectomy. It's a blood test. It's very easy to do. Um, we recommend it in, in people that have a significant family history for breast cancer, um, a family history in a relative under 45, ovarian cancer, male breast cancer, bilateral breast cancer, um, and so she had that blood test. So people with a history, any other risk factors, any other person who should be tested for this? That's the most significant. And once you get this test done and you have the double mastectomy, you have the procedure that presumably takes care of it. Is there a chance down the road that another type of cancer appears or does that, I guess, show the maximum risk for cancer that person might have through that blood test? Well, those are great questions. I mean, not everyone has to get a double mastectomy if they're positive for um, the, the gene mutation. There are other options like increased surveillance, um, reducing your risk factors, as well as uh, hormonal suppression. Um, if you want to go through with the double mastectomy, though, that, that pretty much yeah, that reduces takes care of everything in one shot. Yeah, it reduces your risk down to about 5%. Um, nothing is 100%. It's not a guarantee, but it, it will reduce your risk greatly. And I remember, if I remember correctly, she had an 80% chance of developing either breast or ovarian cancer after she saw that test. So I guess 5% is pretty good when you were looking at 80% before. Absolutely. Okay, and real quick, the cost of that test, is it affordable for everybody or is it a lot easier for somebody like Angelina Jolie to afford it? It is expensive and it runs anywhere between a couple hundred dollars up to a couple thousand dollars depending on your insurance. All right, Dr. Ellie Zachris from Toro Infirmary, we appreciate the information. Thank you. Thanks. And if you have any questions, you can visit Toro online at their website or call 504-897-7011.